Hello everyone, welcome to Seeds Art. Today we will be making some vector cartoon avatars. It will be very simple and fun. In this part of the video, we will be making basic face and body structure that is common for all the characters. So let's get right into it. So right now I'm in Inkscape 0.92 and before we start drawing, let's change few settings. So go to view, zoom and set zoom equal to 1 as to 1. Next go to file, document properties and remove this page border. Next select the rectangle tool and make a rectangle like this. Now open your uh, fill and stroke tab and give this rectangle a stroke now I will set stroke width equal to 4 ok next what we are gonna do is we don't want this uh, stroke width to change as we scale up and down this object you can see here you can see here that as I scale up and down my object uh, line width also changes so to prevent this from happening what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off this button which says when scaling objects scale the stroke width by same proportion so I'll just turn it off now you can see I can change the object width and height and width of the stroke remains same okay now let's give it a color okay this will do next select the node tool and you can see there is this circle so just click on it and drag it down now we'll select this uh, rectangle and duplicate it now press shift and control key on the keyboard and scale it down like this about this much then I will reduce its width about this much now I will place it here and align it with align it vertically with respect to this bigger rectangle so open the align and distribute tab and center it on vertical axis now I'll select this smaller rectangle and send it to the background now this is our neck of uh, neck of the character next what I'm gonna do is again duplicate this same object and I will just reduce its width sorry height next I will uh, draw another rectangle like this and then press shift key on the keyboard and select both of these rectangles then go to path and click on the difference now this is the body part of our avatar so what I'm gonna do next is press shift key on the keyboard and drag this uh, object horizontally it will scale down its width from both the sides now I'll do same for its height about this much okay now I'm gonna align it vertically with respect to this bigger rectangle so this is it and then I will select it and send it to the background I think our head is too large so I'll reduce its height Now we will make ears for our avatar so select this ellipse tool and create an ellipse like this make sure its color is same as this uh, this object and also its width equal to uh, its stroke width equal to 4 pixels now select this ear and duplicate it next press control key on the keyboard and drag it to the right like this 
now to align these ears uh, vertically with respect to this uh, head what I will do is press shift key on the keyboard first select these two ears go to object and group them and next I will select this head and then this uh, ears and go to align tab and click on this align center on vertical axis now our ears are, ears are aligned now I will select them and go back to object and ungroup them now while they are selected press shift key on the keyboard select this head and go to path and union okay now next what we are gonna do is select this bezier tool and make a vertical drawing from this point so click here and press ctrl key on the keyboard and make a straight vertical line now I will set its stroke width to 4 and give it a, a round cap and also make sure it aligns with this stroke of his face now next select this line and press uh, ctrl D to duplicate it now press and hold ctrl key and drag it to the right and make sure it's aligned with the stroke Now if you think that the line should be thicker, all you have to do is select everything, press Ctrl and Shift key on the keyboard and just scale it down. You can see lines have got thicker. So next step is let's make eyes. So press Ctrl key on the keyboard and draw a perfect circle. okay this much is enough now fill it with dark black color press ctrl D and duplicate this circle again I think eyes are too big so I will select them and scale them down Now select these eyes, first group them and then align them vertically with respect to head. Now I can ungroup them again. Okay, next we will make a face, uh, sorry, we will make his mouth. So press control key on the keyboard and draw a circle fill it with white color then draw another rectangle over this circle then select both rectangle and circle go to path and <clears throat> click on the difference now we have this white smile for this character so we will place it here and let's, uh, let's uh, scale it down a little bit okay now I will reduce its stroke width to 3 now I think it's looking better next I will make two red circles red or pink let's see for his cheeks so I will reduce it uh, sorry remove its stroke and let me uh, give it darker color of this skin color so first I will press D key on the keyboard and duplicate this color now go to fill tab and under this HSL I will increase this uh, value of L ok 
okay now I will just duplicate this circle here now once again I will group them select this head and align them vertically okay now finally let's make eyebrows so select this bezier pen and make sure your B spline path is active now first let me drag a horizontal line guideline for our reference and we will start from left click above this guideline and click back to it so now we have this curve which is definitely not a symmetrical so but it doesn't matter because we will increase its stroke width to 4 and give it a round cap okay now select this eye and this eyebrow and align them vertically now duplicate this again and again align it with respect to this eye so let me reduce its neck height I'll press ctrl key on the keyboard and move this uh, rectangle upwards same thing I will select this body part press ctrl key and move this vertically upwards next I will make two vertical lines here so I can give this character hands but I cannot make them directly like this because then it won't be symmetrical so I will use this these two circles as a reference so first I will ungroup them then I will turn on this snap to rotation center no let's snap to center of the object and then I will bring this vertical guideline like this which will snap to its center then another one here now you can see his body part is equally divided in three parts so let's create a line here so select the bezier tool and just draw two lines and let me give it a stroke width of three pixels which is one pixel lesser than this outer one now I'll just delete these guidelines so we are done with our basic face and body structure now in next part of this uh, video we will add different hairstyles and clothes to create different avatars so that's it for this video, see you in the next part, have a nice day.